Dear subscribers and viewers, I would like to share with you an unexplained paranormal event that happened to friends of my family had on their pilgrimage to Medjugorje in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where a mysterious phenomenon known in the Catholic Church as the apparitions of Mary. It is still an ongoing phenomenon that the Church is investigating and hasn't declared yet to be a supernatural intervention. But it seems more likely it is a real phenomenon. Most well-known case is in Fatima, Portugal. I'm not going to explain the whole history of the phenomenon, but I'll leave links if you wish to learn more. Essentially this family named the Krauses of Cedar Rapids, Iowa caught an unusual blob of light in four photos. The family is relatively a religious Catholic family, but are your average middle-class white American family. They told me they already believed that there was something miraculous going on in Medjugorje, but they did not expect to see anything unusual. But that isn't to say they are biased to the belief, they are a rational believing family. Here is what they had to say to me. Quote, as discussed, attached are the four original digital files. Our trip was last month. They were taken at around 7 p.m., while we were on a bus driving to Medjugorje. We were about 20 minutes away, and had already crossed into Bosnia-Herzegovina, so probably were along one of the local roads like R424 and maybe 5 to 10 miles away from Medjugorje. We noticed a double rainbow in the sky and against the gray background it looked very beautiful, so we took some pictures. Our guide also noted that the rainbow ended in Medjugorje. Bus was probably moving about 30 miles per hour. Photos not taken perpendicular to bus but at an angle towards the front. All photos taken within one minute. We do not believe the flash was on, but even if it were, the reflections are very different in the photos. It is possible that some others in the bus were also taking pictures and that their flashes were on, but first we do not believe this was the case, and two, if it were, it would be quite incredible to capture their flashes in all four of our pictures, and for them to look like they do. There was also some lightning in the sky at that time, but very high horizontal flashes above clouds, softly backlighting the upper sky, but not reaching down. Note that I was riding shotgun in the front of the bus, actually, more like a large minivan, while my wife, who took the pictures, was located about four rows behind me, halfway along the bus. You'll notice some streaking of rain on the windows. You'll also notice the reflections of the windows on the other side of the bus, especially in photo 73. We did not see these white patches at the time, we were photographing the double rainbow. It was not until about four days later that we noticed these flashes on our camera disc. Our camera was about 10 years old. It was not a very expensive brand, a Traveler DC99009 megapixel, I think we got it at Aldi's. We had the settings to max pixels. You'll also recall seeing photos taken both before and after these, on the same disc by the same camera, that do not have these flashes of white. In hindsight I also recall that around that time, the air seemed still, like when there is a storm out, the air sometimes seems to ionize during a storm, and two, I distinctly recall seeing three flashes of light and thinking whoever was taking pictures of the rainbows is only going to get reflection off the glass. With respect to this last item, note that I saw three, not four or more, flashes, and I saw them very quickly, in succession, about one-fourth of a second apart, our camera could not have readied itself that quickly for successive shots, and while our camera does have the red eye pre-flash feature, it is not the same frequency as I experienced. Of course some other cameras could have done that, but what I experienced seemed to fill the bus, and again, I was sitting at the very front, beside the driver, looking ahead, so sensing any flash from behind me would give me a sense of the direction from where it came, but the flashes I sensed seemed to be all around me, maybe reflected off of glass inside the bus, or maybe it came from outside the bus, I welcome any explanations for these pictures. End quote. After doing a little research to see if I could find similar images, I was able to find a few. Here is a video by YouTuber Top 5 Trending. See link below. 1 North Suburban Catholic Church, is talking about a very thought-provoking picture, shot with nothing more than an iPhone. One woman, 
snapped a photo, in the chapel of Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Glenview, Illinois, and says she got so much more. Maureen Kent has been attending Eucharistic Adoration at the church, for more than two years. At that time she wanted a picture of the Eucharist or host, in the monstrance, and the ornate gold stand. However, when she looked at the photo on her phone, another image was taken, it showed a bright light, which she claimed to be an image larger than a human, and appearing to hover next to the host on the altar. Catholics believe the host is the body of Christ, and some claim, it was the image of the Lady of Perpetual Hell. So I took my iPhone out, no flash, I was not trying to be disrespectful or create any issue, and I snapped a simple picture. And, well, what was produced in the picture, there is a white light and a white image. As you saw from that video report, the image is eerily similar to what my friends captured. This makes me think the phenomenon is intelligent and intentionally using our technology to change our faith in the long run. It's not limited to certain locations. The light may be acting like a portal. The phenomenon seems to have the ability to concentrate a flash and time it just right for it to get on camera without the person noticing. It seems to be an external effect and not something messing around inside the camera or simply a digital mishap. Now I know many of you may not believe in the supernatural let alone the apparitions of Mary. But photo and video evidence is a form of evidence that we cannot ignore. But if you've been following my channel, I argue that yes UFOs or UAPs are very real. There are rare phenomenons out there interacting with us psychologically through the use of the internet as a way of testing us between ourselves. There is this natural distrust we have on the internet, to say it's fake, this mentality might make the supernatural world more willing to appear on the internet without taking away our free will and causing fear. There may be many other images people have captured in Metagorhi. Here is one possible image I found on Pinterest.com by Zion Benyalva, and shared on the Radical Christianity.yucu.com. The article with the image was written by Michael Brown March 10, 2008. See link below. The image apparently shows of the visionaries having a sighting of Mary but no one else can see the apparition, it was not until later someone noticed they had captured what appeared to be the silhouette light of Mary. It is not known if anyone else in the crowd caught the apparition on their cameras. But it seems likely. It's as if Mary is choosing a handful of people to have this sighting documented on their cameras but still leaving it up to faith. And here is another apparition photo from Metagorhi. The image seems too good to be true. But it only takes one of these images to increase the probability of the others being authentic. In the article there is one sentence that makes me think there is a connection between UFOs and the supernatural. It states quote, Our entire group watched through binoculars another night just before leaving as a star seemed to split into several smaller, colored stars, blue, white, and red, squiggle down, dance around the sky, then reunite into one. End quote. This directly related to what I've documented with the UFO orbs of light phenomenon. This is an ability UFOs have. They are not spaceships or probes, period. There is enough video, photo and testimonial evidence pointing to something more supernatural in nature. These are two images taken from Metagorhi of what appears to look like UFO or UAPs. There is more to Metagorhi such as the black dots people see when videoing the sun which is referred to as the miracle of the sun. I encourage you to watch the documentaries in the links below to learn more about the apparitions of Mary phenomenon. Ultimately we have to judge it by its fruit. Let us know if you've had an unexplained paranormal event.